Okay, I'm heading to Chariot Mountain, a route given to me by uh, K6MXA. Thanks, John. So we're gonna head on up there. It's in the Lagunas. It's a summit I have never done before. So you're about to see how this goes. Let's get cracking. CQ, CQ, this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, summertime here. One of the things about uh, this hobby is it pulls you into areas that you would have never thought to go. I've said that multiple times. It's, uh, and I've never been over here, ever. I would have never thought to drive over here on the other side of uh, Lake Cuyamaca. It's a beautiful little valley here. It would be even prettier when it's, uh, when it's all greened up. But, uh, yeah, this is this is really something. So uh, nice little trip over here uh, with one small snafu, but uh, we'll talk about that next. All right, I've been here at the uh, start of the hike. Uh, a bit delayed this morning for multiple reasons. Uh, one of them is I forgot the backpack. So I was about 10 minutes from the house and turned around, and had to go back and get it. So right here next to the highway. here so we're gonna mosey on uh, down the hike here and uh, check it out this is uh this is pretty cool this is a really pretty day it's beautiful just clear skies and we're here at uh, uh, Pedro Fejas trail I probably didn't pronounce that right so it's like we'll be sharing the trail here with some other folks Big tall grass out here. This is a really kind of cool rock wall they built here. Somebody built. Coming over this little uh, gorge here. Uh, probably some good uh, runoff comes through here and then wow mega drop off here so guess what I'm gonna have to contend with crap load of uphill on the way back um, but hey that's all part of the fun there's a better shot of that wall uh, well done yeah interesting country out here toward the Borrego Desert as we drop down, then we'll climb back up here. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a climb. So, unfortunately, we got to go down, then back up. So, we're two miles in, according to the Jeeps, and uh, should be coming up soon on the the turn here. Okay, I've turned onto the youth trail here. Uh, and it's pretty recognizable, especially in some areas, but, um, yeah. So, this can be quite a climb here. Um, as indicated on my charts, but, uh, should be there hopefully in a half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah gonna be yeah uh, should be some fun so I got some animal tracks or John's boot prints I don't know which going right up here so uh, we're gonna follow that nice little climb though and we're starting to get a nifty view down into this valley staying out of the canyon to our right Ravine, what do you want to, whatever you want to call it. That looks pretty gnarly. Um, this really isn't, uh, I mean, we're going through the bush, but we're able to pretty much stay out of the bushwhack mode, which is nice. Enough yakking. Let's get cracking. Oh, a few hundred feet more to go. All right. Well, we made it to this uh, kind of ridge here uh, where the trail turns. I'll uh, mark that 
right here in the chart. And uh, we're gonna follow that kind of quasi ridge up to this guy and then over to the summit. Um, so nice clear path through this brush. It's not super heavy chaparral, just some weeds and stuff. So nice, uh, nice clear path. We don't have to bushwhack today. John promised me I wouldn't be bushwhacking and he's right. Oh, what I wished I had known is how perfect this would have been for a mountain bike. Because I could have mountain bike in three and a half miles and then just do this part. Um, that would have been just freaking off, uh, awesome. So uh, definitely be doing that. Next time I do this one, I'll be bringing the mountain bike. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, all right, let's get cracking. I don't have all day to be yakking. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> All right, and the final pitch here. Ooh. Out of shape. You know, 30 pounds, sit in a chair all day, 30 pound backpack, sit in a chair all day. You know, what the hell, this should be easy. Ah, it's a good climb. Hell, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Check out this view. It's really, really amazing. We're in the activation zone. We're not on the tippy top. Uh, it's got a nice long kind of ridge looking thing up here as you can uh, see on the chart. Um, we'll walk, basically set up the antenna anywhere between here and the tippy top and uh, get on the air. But uh, wow, some pretty spectacular views up here. And it's so clear, I can see the dome up in Palomar. Uh, that's just crazy. Huh? So, a lot of mountains blocking uh, between here and San Diego, but this is pretty neat up here. Uh, really spectacular, so. Huh, worth the effort. Um, wasn't too bad, and I did estimate correctly. It actually took me a little bit less than 30 minutes to get up here, straight up the, basically come straight up, so. And uh, without any too much trouble. So, anyway, we're gonna head over there and see if we can find something to strap the antenna to. Over to this yucca, dead yucca over here. See if we can't tie off onto it. Uh, pretty big activation zone here. Uh, to get to the tippy top, you'd have to drop over down a little, little gulch here. But uh, we're gonna set up here get cracking I think we're adequately tied off here we'll find out if this thing comes down uh, I'm gonna sit over here on a rock before I go to the chair today I do need to make this quick because um, I prefer not to be walking back to the car in the dark uh, and I think I can achieve my mission so let me find the connector <laughs> And then we'll get on the air. You seem to see as if the um, stand for the camera stays up. I'm able to sit on this rock, which is actually not bad. So I'm going to plug in here. See if I can't get on the air. Huh. It's pretty toasty up here. I'm thinking it's 75 to 80. Probably 75. Not horrible. Okay, this is my basically sound recorder so you can hear what I hear. Unplug that in. Get some phones into that. Plug this in to the other side. Hopefully I can hear something.
519. That's a pretty tough copy. CQ, CQ, this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie from Summits on the Air, calling any station, anywhere. Whiskey 5, Oscar Delta Sierra. Whiskey 5, ODS, got you 5-5. Five, five. Yes, uh, you're a uh, 5-6 here in Oklahoma, thanks for another one. All righty, thank you very much. Number 0, Whiskey Alpha Echo. Okay, is that a, a November Zero Whiskey Alpha Echo, uh, Eric? Roger, Roger. Uh, Eric in Montana, I have you 5555. Five. QSL, I got you between 5.7 and 5.9. Nice signal. signal. Well, thank you for the 5.9. Thank you for the activation. QSL, have an awesome weekend. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. WB7, Bravo, Whiskey Zero. Whiskey Zero, Echo Romeo, India. Okay, got a Whiskey Victor in there. Whiskey Victor, you're first. All right, I guess not. Uh, Martha, you're up. Whiskey Zero, ERI. Good, good afternoon. Okay, uh, Chris, uh, you are a five and six, five and six into uh, Kansas today. QSL? QSL, I got you five nine here on the meter. Uh, thanks a lot for the contact, Martha, and have an awesome weekend. Okay, thank you very much. It's 73. 73. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, QRZ. WB7, Bravo, Whiskey Zulu. Okay, I got a WB7 in there, I think. WB7, Bravo, Whiskey Zulu. Bravo, Whiskey Zulu. Oh, QSL, QSL. You're the one I always have trouble with uh, on CW for some reason. Uh, Whiskey Bravo 7, Bravo, Whiskey Zulu. And uh, thanks for the contact, Robert. I got you 5-9. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, the call's a little bit of a tongue twister, Christian, especially <laughs> on CW, especially. A lot of people have trouble with it. Anyway, you're a 5-5 five, five, five in Montana, um, and uh, thanks for the QSO, 73. Alrighty, 73. Yeah, you're about 10 over here. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, QRZ. Whiskey 0, Mike, November Alpha, Whiskey. Whiskey 0, Mike, November Alpha, you're the winner at 5-9, Gary. <laughs> okay, I guess. Good to win something. <laughs> You're five nine two. Alrighty, I certainly enjoyed last Sunday, man. I uh, appreciate you doing the video, um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Roger that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun last uh, Sunday two weeks ago. I guess it is now. Take care, you later. Seventy three. Alrighty, seventy three. November one, Charlie Lima, Charlie QRZ. November zero, Delta Whiskey. Okay, uh, November Zero Radio Zulu, uh, you got the radio voice there, Charles. Got you 5-9 on the mountaintop. Okay, you're, uh, you're about 5-5, five, five, 55 in Kansas. Thank you, 73. Already 73, Charles. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, QRZ. Whiskey 5, Golf Delta Whiskey. All right, well, that's the clearest one I've had all day. Whiskey 5, Golf Delta Whiskey. Uh, thanks for the contact, Gary. I got you 5-9 on the mountaintop. Hey, thank you, Chris.
Smith, you're uh, five five, North Carolina, five five. Have a great activation, seven three. All righty, 73, man. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, QRZ. Whiskey 6, whiskey uniform. Okay. That's a wrap. And we're going to call it. Um, this was a, uh, a good activation. Actually, a lot of fun. Got one summit to summit with Amy. That was awesome. Thanks a lot, Amy. Um, uh, it was great getting you. I was afraid, uh, you know, so late in the day on a Sunday, I probably wouldn't get any con, uh, summit to summits, but uh, you were out there for me and I was out there for you. So it was a lot of fun. And it was great going to sideband uh, and hearing some old voices uh, that I've heard before. Uh, Gary, Martha, Charles. Uh, thanks to all you guys for chasing today. And uh, I'm going to scurry off the mountain and see if I can't get back to the car before it gets too dark. So 73, everybody. And uh, I'm going to get off the mountain here and I'll talk to you on the way. You can almost see the cut on the way down and we hit the road and basically hit the road most of the way back then there's that trail. But man, we got a long section of uphill there. So should be a fun way back. That's the way it rolls uphill to get home. But uh, great activation, 25 contacts and uh, one summit is not. So let's see if I can get down without crashing. Got to log those contacts now. Hey, if you um, want to learn more about doing the hobby, um, check out hamninja.com slash soda360, S-O-T-A 360. Um, I did a four part series on activating. So in general in soda, why do it? And then a uh, section on planning, uh, a reference activation similar to this one. And uh, then how to, how to get your points. I did a separate uh, video as well on um, uh, chasing. Those are the guys that chase from a mountaintop or from their home or vehicle. So uh, check those out if you're interested in doing the hobby. Um, I hope that those will help others figure this thing out and have as much fun as I am. So I am going to call it 73 here, folks. And uh, unless something comes up, so it's time to roll the credits. Have a good one, guys.